Hi, I'm Donna Jordan from Jordan Fabrics. Today, we're going to make a pattern called a disappearing four patch. We need a fat quarter bundle, and I'm going to use these nice bright K facet prints. We are also gonna need four light fabrics that will look good with these darker prints. What I want is fabrics, colors that will look good with this bundle, but that are light enough so that this, these will show up. So this would be a good blue, we'll use that one. This would be a good green, we'll use that one. This would be a good one, that's a nice pink, that's a lot of contrast. And then this one here, a nice light purple. We need 15 fat quarters. So I'm gonna pick out 15 that have a lot of print. I'm probably not gonna use that one because I want a lot of contrast between all these prints and my backgrounds over here. So what I'm gonna do is take the 15 that I'm gonna use and a yard of each of these and everything is going to get cut up into eight inch squares. Now that everything is cut, I've paired each print with a nice background color. So this one looked good with that. So all of the prints and all of the backgrounds are all paired up. The next step is to take one set over to the sewing machine. The first part of this block is really simple. We're just going to make four, four patch, a four patch block. We're just gonna sew this together. So I'm gonna put these right sides together and sew down here. Use your quarter inch seam. And I like to leave this block right there and then move these pieces right below it and leave the thread in the middle and go all the way down. We are going to finger press the seam toward the printed fabric here. Same thing here, press the seam toward the printed fabric. Now that intersection will nest because the seam allowances are going in opposite directions and stitch down here. Once you have all of your four patch blocks done, we're going to take them one at a time over to the cutting board. And I'm going to line up my seams on one of the lines here. So I've got this one lined up on a line and this one lined up. And I'm going to cut through the patchwork. So I'm going to put the one inch line of my ruler on the seam there, and I'm going to cut. Now, I need to make another cut one inch away here. Since it's lined up on these lines, I can go right to this line on the cutting board and cut right here. Now we need to make two cuts the other way. Again, you can line up with your ruler line on the seam to cut this way. And now you can move it down here and we'll cut along the top here. Now we are going to spin some of these pieces. These little pieces in the middle, they're going to get turned around. They're gonna stay in their same spots. We're just going to spin them around and look at what a fun block that's gonna make. Now we're gonna sew everything back together. I'm going to put this piece on there, this piece on there, and this piece on there, and I'm going to stitch these all in a row without removing them from the machine. And that helps me keep them from getting spun around. Now we're just going to open these up, they may not stay open, and we're going to sew these onto this whole row. So that one's going there, that one's going there, and that one's going there. And you know, you can always stick a pin in these if you're worried about them falling off while you stitch the first patchwork. Now we're gonna to wanna to sew the rows together, but we're gonna to wanna to put our seam allowances in opposite directions. So I'm just gonna take the top row and finger press everything to the right. And then the middle row, everything is gonna to go to the left. And the bottom row, 
everything is going to go to the right and then it's going to be real easy to stitch these rows together and nest all of our seam allowances. Go ahead and do the exact same thing with all of the blocks that are this color. Once you're done with your first color, take the next color and we're going to use a similar method, but we're going to use a different measurement. So line it up on your cutting board again. I'm lining that seam up on lines, but this time I'm going to cut an inch and a half away from the seam. We will spin again. So we're going to have a similar block, but these pieces around the edges are a little bit bigger and our corner squares are a little bit smaller. So the method for sewing this is exactly the same as what we did on the last block. Go ahead and do this with all of your blue blocks. For our third block, we're gonna use the same procedure, but we are going to cut two inches away from the center line. Do that with all of your pink blocks. For the last block, we're gonna do the same procedure, but we're gonna use two and a half inches this time. These squares are done. We've got all the squares ironed up. Now we're ready to lay out the quilt. I am going to lay mine out in diagonal lines. You can do it random if you like, but the simplest way for me is just to put this one here and this one here, and I'm gonna keep going up as far as I can reach. And then this guy is gonna go here. So my quilt is going to be five rows wide and six rows long. So I like to lay the, the colors out in their proper space. And then when I'm all done, I'm gonna trade around some of the blocks to make sure that I don't have too much dark purple in one spot. So this one's gonna go down here. So I'm gonna keep laying these out then I'll show you what it looks like. I have all of the blocks laid out. Now, every block is facing the same way. Every block has the print in the upper left and the solid in the upper right. Now, when we put the blocks together, we have to match the middle here, but these don't line up. They never line up, so you don't have to match anything. When you come over here, again, right in the middle, but you don't have to match any of these intersections. So this will be really easy to make the rows and sew the rows together. Then we'll get it onto the quilting machine. I have the quilt on the machine. I'm really happy with how it looks already. Now for thread, I know I'm gonna to wanna to use one of these light colors here, and I think really any of them will work I think that this blue will show the least everywhere, and that's kind of what I want. I want the thread to not show much, so I'm gonna go with the blue. I'm gonna use a quilting pattern called Square Dance. The patchwork looks a lot like this with all those um, squares and rectangles, so I think this will look really good on this quilt. I love how the quilt came out. I know I made it, but sometimes some quilts come out so nice that they just make you smile. I can see the um, secondary pattern because I lined up all my blocks in rows. So it, you see those colors coming way out at you. I really like the little blocks, the blocks with the little teeny pieces here, but then I make some of the bigger blocks and I like those almost as well. Now the Quilting shows up very nicely on the back because I did the solid and I like those geometric squares with the top. Looks really good, really fun to make. Thanks for watching our tutorial today on how to make the twist and shout quilt. We hope you enjoyed it. Now, we're gonna have another giveaway. This is a Log Cabin Star from a Jelly Roll. You may have seen our tutorial. We have a free pattern on how to make this. It's very easy to enter. Just click the link that says giveaway and put in your name and email address. You might be the lucky winner. Now, if you don't want to miss any of our tutorials, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy quilting.